This is part 26 of AngularJS tutorial. In our previous videos in this series, we discussed creating layout and partial templates. In this video, we'll discuss configuring routes and creating the required controllers, that is the home controller, courses controller, and students controller. Let's flip to Visual Studio. The first thing that we want to do here is add another JavaScript file where we can write our Angular code. So I'm going to right click on the scripts folder, add a JavaScript file, and let's call it script.js. First, let's create a module. Angular.module. Let's name our module demo. All routing features are present in a different module, and that module is ng-route. So let's specify that as a dependency here. Now let's use Angular's config function to specify the configuration for our application. So to this config function, I'm going to inject dollar route provider, which we use to configure routes. So dollar route provider. Now, route provider has got dot when function. So when the URL is slash home, what do we want to do? We want to inject home.html into our layout view, which is index.html. So we have to specify that here. So when the URL is slash home, template URL is going to be, now if you look at home.html, all these partial templates, they are actually present in this templates folder. So templates for slash and the name of the view is home.html and the controller that is going to be responsible for this view we specify that using controller so the controller is going to be home controller so basically this is telling when the user is on slash home if that's the URL then we want this view to be injected into index.html and this is the controller that is responsible for that view now when the user navigates to slash courses, then we want this courses.html to be injected into index.html. So our template URL is going to be courses.html and our controller is going to be courses controller. Similarly, when the user navigate to for slash students, then the template URL is going to be students.html and the controller is going to be students controller. You can have as many dot when functions as you want depending on the number of routes that you are configuring. So we are done configuring our routes. Now let's go ahead and create home controller, courses controller, and students controller. So what I'm going to do now is chain dot controller function. So the name of the controller here is going to be home controller and to the home controller function let's pass the dollar scope object now if you remember from our previous video if you look at our home.html the partial template here it is expecting message property to be there and what is this message property going to contain the page title home page so what we are going to do within our script.js let's set the message property and let's set that to home page okay so that's all the home controller is doing now let's go ahead and create the rest of the controllers we want courses controller and what is the courses controller going to do? It's going to return an array of courses. Now if you look at courses.html, the courses partial template here, we are expecting a property called courses. So we want to loop through each course and display the name of the course. So what we are going to do within our controller is specify a property on the dollar scope object, courses, and this is going to be an array of courses. So let's say our courses are C sharp, VB.net, 
you know, you can have as many courses as you want. SQL Server, ASP.NET, etc. So that's our courses controller. Finally, let's go ahead and create our students controller. So let's change the name to students controller. And what do we want the students controller to do? If you look at the students partial template, it should actually return, you know, a property called students, which is going to contain all the student objects. And from each student object, we want to retrieve the name property and display that here. Okay. So, and if you remember from our previous video session, we have a web service here, which is returning the list of student objects. So let's go ahead and call that web service. So first of all, the property on the scope object is going to be students. And to our controller function, we also want to inject dollar HTTP service so we can call our ASP.NET web service. So dollar HTTP. So we're going to use the get function to call the ASP.NET web service. The ASP.NET web service is student service dot ASMX. And within that, we have this web method get all students which we want to call so student service dot asmx forward slash get all students so that's the function that we want to call so let's chain dot then function and whatever response we get let's pass that to this function so what do we want to do with that response we want to set that on the dollar scope object. So we are basically going to retrieve the data and set it as the value for the student's property. All right. So that's all the Angular code that is required. We have configured our routes and we have created the required controllers. Now, there are two more things to do. So within our index.html, first of all, look at the name of our module here. It's demo. So let's go back to index.html. And here at the HTML element level, notice we already have ng app set to demo. So that's all looking good. Now, the next thing that we want to do is add a reference to our script file within the layout template, which is our index.html. So let's do that. Now, if you look at this layout template right here, we have ng view directive. So this is where the partial templates will be injected depending on the URL that we are on. So let's quickly run this page. So first look at the URL. We are on index.html. Now when I click home, look at that, the URL changes to index.html hash forward slash home. And look at what happened. The home partial template home.html is injected into the location where we have this ng view directive within our index.html file. Similarly, when we go to courses, look at the courses that we have. And when we go to students, we should get the list of students. There was a bit of a delay there because it was actually calling that ASP.NET web service. Okay, notice the partial templates are injected as expected. But one problem that we have here is we still have this hash symbol in the URL. We'll discuss how to get rid of that hash symbol in our next video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.